Thank you, Matt. Now, as he mentioned, Frank Kill, the LCC T-Birds, joining us in studio, brought to you by Dominion. And, Frank, congratulations. You got what you wanted going into this sectional. What, uh, what do you have in your mind now is uh, you've got quite a few regular season games to get to before you start thinking about the postseason. We do. We have five games left, and, you know, I think these next three games are really going to uh, kind of set the tone where we need to be, you know, by, you know, February 28th. And, and uh, you know, we have a lot of games left that uh, are going to uh, challenge us. These games are not going to be easy. You know, they're, they're the games that uh, we want to be, that we, they're what we want to see on our schedule. You know, because at this time of the season, we want to be challenged. And because if we're going to be challenged, you know, late in, the, late in the tournament run, we need to be prepared now. You got three games this week, Frank, and you're coming off a loss last night against Delita, and it's no slouches either. It's Lima Senior Tuesday. It's Spencerville Friday, Salina Saturday. How important is it for you for this week not to have a letdown? Well, I mean, let's, let's look at Tuesday. I mean, it's the Lima Cup. I mean, it's, it's what uh, a lot of these kids look forward to, you know, all season long. It's, it's one of those that you circle on the calendar. So, um, you know, being that Tuesday is a, is a big game, it's also a, tur a tournament atmosphere type of game too. So, you know, it's something our kids need to be ready for and that we have to understand that it's one game of 22, but, you know, starting February 28th, you know, there's no tomorrow. So it's one game at a time. Yeah, I think that brings up an excellent point. You go Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Tuesday, Friday. It's almost as if you're in that playoff mode two weeks going into the postseason. Yeah, it's something that you really try to get your kids really adapted to because, you know, as far as preparations, you know, you only have two practices to prepare for one team. So, you know, we're going to get ready for Lima Senior on Tuesday and then turn around Wednesday and Thursday and get ready for Spencerville and Salina. Um, you know, so it's something our kids are going to have to be prepared for. You know, when you coach sophomores, you know, a lot of them have never been in this situation before. So, you know, for us, we're really going to have to uh, be disciplined at practice and, and, and just really take it all in. You know, with uh, Xavier, Coming off of a career high weekend, he had a career high Friday, then a career high on Saturday against Delida. You know, getting his guard play from a points offensive perspective, his defense has been great all year for you. But from an offensive standpoint, getting him and Martise on the same page and keeping them there through the next five games, that's got to be one of the top priorities you guys have. Well, it is a priority, but we also have a third guard in Trey Cobbs, right. you know, and I always say it's kind of the odd man out. And right now, Trey's that odd man out. Um, you know, Xavier and Martise are, are very good with the ball. You know, they could score from anywhere. And, you know, if we can get, you know, 20 out of both of those and, and maybe get Trey to get 10 or 15, you know, I think we're going to be pretty, uh, we're going to be pretty good because even our interior game is, is good too. Quickly, I think having X miss those games a few weeks ago, that might have ended up being a good thing for you guys. It really did because it, it kind of exposed some of our weaknesses that we needed to work on. And it allowed guys like Trey Cobbs and Martise to step up in a, in a ball handling situation. But, you know, for us, it's, it's one game at a time, and, you know, we're going we're gonna to anticipate it. Everybody's healthy. Everybody's going to be there on Tuesday night that, so that we can get the job done. All right, and you can see that Lima Senior LCC Lima Cup game on WSN on Tuesday night. Thank you, Frank Kill, LCC head coach. Thank you to Dominion sponsoring this segment.